Thunderdome Boxing Talk, Anthony here. Alright, finally get to get to this damn fight. Postal and Crawford. Now, you know, this is not an official prediction or anything like that. Just want to get my thoughts on the fight, really. Um, who I favor, why, and things like that. Um, first of all, I'm so happy that these guys came together and put this fight together. Um, you know, it sets a great example for other fighters, um, shows these guys got the nuts to step up against the best in their division, uh, you know, which a lot of guys ain't, plain and clear, you know, um, was the, was the longest you could say it took this fight to get made, you know how many fights that should have been made a long time ago already, um, these guys got it done, you know, no mandatories, no years away, just done, just done. Got it made, you know. And now this will be for the lineal. This will be for the ring. This will clearly be to establish who is number one at 140 pounds. Uh, like they might not be the two best at 140, you know, but they're the closest you can get to getting the two best in the ring. Um, I, I'm, and I'm not saying they're not the two best because they very possibly are. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, even if they're not, this is as close as you can get. Um, then whoever wins this fight starts to clear out the damn division. Um, I don't know what Broner's doing. You know, he might jump to 47. I don't know what the hell is going on with Broner. I mean, he, it's that that's all over the place. Uh, maybe y'all know, he, you know, he does have the WBA title. I checked the WBA website the other day. They still had him ranked as their champ. Uh... I also heard that he was vacating it and going to welter or something. So I, I don't know what the hell he's doing. I guess it just figures what fight comes along. Um, I don't know if he's really too interested in the winner of this fight or not. You know, um, then you got Troyanovsky out there with the IBF. You know, we'll have to see what goes on there. Uh, but with this fight, you know, I have a clear favorite, honestly. Um, I'm like, and you know. I probably wouldn't go any more like a favor like 65, 35. Because uh, this is a good matchup. Like, this really is a good matchup. There's a lot of ways this could swing. Um, I think one of the biggest, I think the biggest actually, the, the biggest factor, I favor Crawford, man. I do. And the biggest reason why is his speed. Um, he's a lot faster than Postal. Now, I'm not talking like, you know, Amir Khan to Provodnikov type speed difference, but there's a speed difference. Um, you know, that big right hand is Postal's main weapon, right? The one, two, jab, 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 fired right. But, it takes some time to get there. You know, he, he doesn't have a, 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 a very quick right hand. It, it's really not. Um, was he cracking Matisse with it? Yeah, but Matisse is a totally different... You know, styles make fights. That's totally... That has nothing to really do with this fight. Um, it's a good fight. You can gauge post off with what he did. You know, same as with, uh, like, Lundy. You can't compare Lundy to really Postal. Um... Even though Postal, did, Postal beat Lundy also. Uh, unanimous decision, but no. But, um... <clears throat> the whole thing with this fight, right? Okay. You got... But, first of all, they're both undefeated at 28-0. Like, 28-0. Um... Crawford has 20 knockouts to 12. I think it's to 12. I'm not sure. I think it's 12 knockouts for Croft or Postal. But Postal wasn't really ever looking to knock people out. You know, um, all his fights that he had in like a little arena in the Ukraine, <clears throat> they all seemed to be like all in that same little gym thing. It was really small. Um, small ass venue. <clears throat> he was pretty much just boxing. He wasn't really looking for the knockout. Now that he's with Freddie Roach, we all know Freddie Roach wants you to go for the knockout. You know, we've seen him screaming at fighters, like, fucking knock him out, like Zeus Schming and things like that, right? And he's definitely telling Postal, go for the KO. But I don't know if that's going to make 
that big a difference. It'll it might make them more vulnerable. Uh, who knows, you know? But Postal, you know, has the first of all the classical style, you know, just like uh, a classical boom stance, boom one, one two, and he can get in there. He, I mean, he's a good fighter. He's a very, very good fighter, you know. He is the best 140 pounder right now. Um, <clears throat> not saying that Crawford ain't better. I think he's gonna win, but he has to prove it. You know, he just got to this division. He's only fought Delorme, uh, Dierry Jean, and Hank Lundy. That's it. You know, obviously, Postal has a more extensive career at 140. Uh, you know, 135 is where you know Crawford made his mark, and he's about to try now here at 140. Couple fights right, right at the top, dog. Um, to be unifying the WBC, WBO. Like I said, it'll also be the lineal, it'll also be the ring. Um, it's for it's for all the marbles, man. You know, except for undisputed, but they'll be unified lineal ring. It's for, it's for the spot to be the the guy, the guy. Postal has the the clear. You know, people talk about Crawford would fight. Mostly smaller guys. Um, either some not every time, obviously, but he would usually either be heavier, um, or his dimensions, you know, and it, it would vary. He usually was the the, the bigger guy um, in the big fights that he had. I don't know about all the you know the the guys you fight on the way up, whatever. But post all is clearly bigger, and I think he has three inches in height, three inches in reach. I think that's what it is. Three and three, three, three inches in height, three inches in reach. Just pretty significant. I mean, that's pretty fucking significant at, at 140 pounds. You know, it's significant any division, but at 140 pounds, you know, he so he got the size. Uh, he's rangy. You know, he can he use that? Can he keep uh, Crawford at the end of that jab and maybe sucker him in with a left hook? Uh, you know. A straight right counter or just a straight right, um, but see, he's slower. All right, Crawford's faster, like faster. He's more explosive too, and I'm talking like speed and, and explosiveness. Um, quicker, you know, like the synapses in the brain and understanding. I'm not sure. This will be that. I don't know. Um, that'll be you know interesting. We'll probably find out in this fight, honestly. Uh, but the timing, you know, I don't know who has better timing. Um, you know, that's going to be a big thing in this because Crawford does have the speed. <coughs> Postal does have the size, the reach, you know, the jab, the one-two. Might be able to keep him at the end if he has better timing. <coughs> Excuse me. Because if Crawford's able to... Fire off shots faster. Don't get to the angles faster. Fire off. Slip inside. Fire off. Cover up. He'll win. All right. Now, that's if he is faster and quicker. And, you know, post all can't time him. Or can't time him as much. Um, you know, Crawford can switch it up, which will break that, that timing because it'll be a new rhythm. Everything will be changed up. Uh, on Postal, that could fuck him up bad, because he's gonna need his timing, and Crawford will switch it up, you know, whether it's because he just got cracked, and he switches it up, or because he can't land, he switches it up, right, so either to defend himself, he can switch it up, or to, to become more aggressive, he, he can switch it up, right, um, if, if he just wants to be very defensive, and just, you know, kind of pot shot, he can do that as well, um, but can he do it on Posto, who's the biggest guy he's ever fought, like, bar none. Um, and I don't think there's, uh, uh shit, Del was Delorme made bigger? I don't think, I don't think so. Postal's fucking big, man. He's not real heavy. I don't know what he'll weigh in this fight. Uh, I don't know what either guy would enter the ring at. Um, but, I, I mean, speed, speed is, the, like, you want speed. You, you, you just want it, and you want that explosiveness, and... He has it, and that's the the that's the you know attribute that got me leaning towards towards Crawford uh, for this fight. I mean, their chins. <clears throat> first of all, that's the power power of Postal. 
uh, he don't have big power. I mean, he only got 12 knockouts. The Matisse thing, you know, his eye was fucked up um, from the Pravod Nicole fight, honestly. So it's not like Postal did all of that himself. I didn't realize how damaged his eye was, and it still is. Um, it's still, you know, recovering. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen there. So, I don't know. Now, you know, we see him post all get smacked by Matisse. Definitely hurt. But, you know, he, he held his ground. He stayed on his feet and everything. Um, <clears throat> and that's a big puncher at 140. Cracked him clean. A few, several times, you know, and hurt, but hurt him though too. Does Crawford hit that hard? Does he hit harder? Um, can he catch him with something that you know, post all just don't see um, from that speed? Uh, and their chins, you know, what can Crawford's chin hold up to Postal's? You know, a big, the best right hand he can throw. Can his chin hold up to? Him? Maybe I don't know, you know, but maybe not. And that's the same question I have with, with Postal's chin. I guess I would probably trust Postal's chin a little more just because I seen Matisse whack it and, you know, he fucking didn't fall down. Um, it got hurt, though. He was definitely buzzed. <coughs> Bad. But I'm not, I don't know if Crawford hits that hard. Um, I don't know. He hits pretty fucking hard, though, because he's so fast. Um... So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'm not really sure whose chin I, uh, I, I trust more. I mean... And this fight's extremely, um, extremely important for both guys. So I don't think they're going to go... I, like this, I don't think Crawford will handle this fight the same way he did the Eric Jean and Lundy and go in there and kind of just fucking mix it up and try to get the guy out of there and get him out of there. Um, I just don't think Postal would allow that, first of all. I, I just don't think Crawford could do that. Um, I kind of think he'll win on a decision, uh, honestly. Um, a fair, just decision. No no bullshit. I think he should win by decision. <coughs> if everything goes the way I'm kind of thinking, well, I'm going to have to see the you know, training and footage. That's why this is no official prediction because I need to see what Postal, I know, I, obviously I need to see Crawford too, but I need to see if Postal's looking sharp, um, snapping his punches, and I need to see how, how, how fast his punches are firing out. Uh, I would really like to see some sparring, even though I doubt we'll see anything serious from either camp, since it's such a, uh, an important fight. Um, maybe some early sparring, that's probably about it, you know. Uh, the footwork, um, man, that's that's a tough one. You know, I'd say Postal's is fundamentally uh, better, but <clears throat> Crawford's is right there, almost with him, but faster. And he can he does you know like unorthodox shit, you know, shit that you won't normally see um, fighters do. But it'll make some mistakes though too when doing that. I don't know if. Postal could capitalize on it. The you know that that's one thing is Crawford's defense. I've seen it extremely tight at times, but then sometimes he's like really lacks a days ago with his defense. <coughs> I don't know <clears throat> how well you know he'll be able to attack um, without getting clipped with a, a big shot by Postal. And will Postal be fast enough to clip him? Uh, or will, you know, Crawford just kind of be able to to move around, use the ring, uh, use his foot speed, and, you know, try it, try, try to either, you know, counterpunch um, after that jab comes in, you know, kind of like jab with him, but, you know, just waiting, waiting for that shot. And Postal's going to be doing the same thing. You know, he's just going to be jabbing, jabbing, waiting, waiting for you to move. And I think that the offense, like the guy that's going to have to make that first move will be Crawford. Because uh, I think Postal will play it safe. He'll just jab, 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 keep him at the end. When he gets inside, he's going to fucking tie him up. Um, you know it. He's going to do it. Um, 
if he can't deal with them. If he can't deal with them on the inside, he's, he's going to start tying them up and then keep them at the end of the punches. How long will the ref let that go on? Um, I think it should be pretty... Should be pretty fair. Um... Because I would think that Bob Arum would want Crawford to win. So I would think that the, the ref should favor Crawford, if anything. Um, you know, I, I mean, it, and, unless Arum just says, hey, fuck it, whoever wins, wins, right? I don't know, though. I would think there's more upside and more money to Crawford, right? Um, that's I, I would sure think. Um so I don't know if that if the ref's going to really let Post all get away with that for too long, right? Maybe a few rounds. But them few rounds might be all he needs. He might be able to put some rounds in the bank um, just off, you know, the, the, the one, two, three, and basically stopping him from coming in, halting him, wrapping him up when he does get inside, you know, hitting and holding each other. Uh, some ugly first, you know, at times it might be pretty ugly. Uh... But then, you know, we should see a fight. And I think that's when Postal might start getting tagged up. Um, this is a, it is a tough one, man. You know, because both guys have their edges. You know, they do. Um, Postal's feet, he has good footwork and he knows what to do, when to do it. But his feet are nowhere near as fast as Crawford's. Um, they're, they're just not. And his hand is everything. Crawford's faster in every way. You know, a, a, a movement, just upper body movement, movement, footwork, hand speed. Um, the only thing I don't know if he's faster at is with, with his mind, you know, the quickness. And maybe Postal could start to time him after a while. But then, you know, Crawford might have to... to Switch switch styles, go go southpaw, orthodox, whatever. Just change it up, break that rhythm. Then now he don't have it, and you only got to break it for 15, 20 seconds, you know. And you know, exchange with him, get him to you know fuck up, break his rhythm, his timing. He won't have it down. And then he can go back, and it won't be as easy to get that. It'll, he'll get it back, obviously, the timing if you stay there. But it w he won't get it back in 30 seconds or something, you know. It might take him the rest of the round. Um, so I'm thinking the the speed, you know, because Posto is really going to need to keep him at the end of that jab, get uh, get his timing down, Crawford's timing down, which is very hard. It'll be very hard. And that's one of the things he kind of has to do. You know, he really needs to get his timing down, and that might be hard as hell to do. If he can do it and, <clears throat> like, kind of halt uh, Crawford, from really being too uh, offensively explosive and getting too many points, just you know, I, I'll be very surprised. Uh, I will. Um, I'm thinking Crawford can find several ways to attack, and I don't know what Postal's defense if it can hold up, because um, he's not the type to to play defense. You know, he'll play, he'll box with you and play safe, but he's gonna keep throwing shit out there, and that's going to keep giving Crawford chances. Um, he, he got a shorter reach. Like I said, he's shorter, shorter reach. So it is going to be hard to wing like a, 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 a straight in there, um, or an overhand a hook over that big, long, lanky jab without him being able to, to block it somehow. Boom, bam, you know. It, it is going to be tough. So I'm thinking he's kind of going to have to get inside or let, you know, just make it a really boring fight and Crawford will have to 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 make Postal come to him and then kind of uh, counter punch and look for a big ass shot um, and maybe just get him the fuck out of there with you know just playing it extremely safe just cover defense 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 counter punch um, that's possible too may something like you know Delorme um, I don't know. You know, that that's another question. Would man, it's it's a tough fight. Um I'm really curious what what who other people are thinking. I've listened to a couple people. Um 
I've heard people picking Crawford, like favoring, because no one's picking it, but I've heard people favoring Crawford. I've heard people favor on post all. And basically everyone says, I favor this guy, but, you know, it's, it's a little scary. Now, this fight could honestly turn out to be one of the fucking best fights we've had in a long time. It could be like similar, like, you know, a generic version of Tommy Hearns versus Sugar Ray Leonard. You know, generic version. So don't get all over height saying that he just said Tommy fucking Hearns to, to post all. You know what I mean? The size difference and, you know, all that, the reach. And it might go back and forth. Like, post all might be able to keep him at the end. <laughs> I mean, it's like Daniel, it's just, just like Sugar Ray. But I kind of expect it. Post all will probably be able to keep him at the end at the beginning, tie him up when he gets inside, um, defend himself fairly good, Get a, maybe get a couple early rounds, then Crawford should be able to come on. Um, I expect him to come on after that. Now then, it's like, what does Post all do, right? Um, does he start risking it and exchanging? Uh, does he step his game up, you know? And instead of, you know, clinching on the inside, banging on the inside, and then they really get into a fucking war, does he start, you know, moving around that ring and just firing the jab, trying to keep out of harm's way, uh, kind of like Tommy Hearns did towards the end there, and then ran out of steam? Um, and will Crawford be able to come in? Come in? I'm, I'm dead serious about it. It could be like a generic version of Hearns and uh, Ray Leonard. I don't know if it will be. I think it might be maybe more uh, uh, ugly, um, like you know, not 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 ugly as you know, you know, a lot of clinching, bullshit, and uh, boring. Honestly, it's it's, it's up to Crawford because Postal, I think he'll play it mostly safe and try to box box score some points, bank some rounds, hope, you know, maybe land a big shot if it comes. But I don't think he's going to go hunting for it. On the other hand, the smaller guy, who's shorter and a little a lower reach, is going to have to. He's going to have to go hunting for it. Can he really, I mean, I, I do know he's very, he can be defensively responsible and just kind of, you know, play deep, move around, let you come after him, you know, pot shot, counter punch, but I've never seen him do it against somebody like Postal, so I don't know if he can. You know, kind of like what he did to Delorme or something like that. I don't know if he could do that to Postal. And, you know, one thing I like about this, uh, as people know, I was a big, I think everybody was a huge Floyd Mayweather fan when he was young. You know, pretty boy Floyd. I, I don't know how you couldn't be. Uh, back then, he was just one of the best fighters out there, right? Everyone liked him. Even though he always bitched and no one, like, came to see him or, you know, he never, no one, you know, did felt like he didn't have enough fans. He got the respect. You know, he did. Um, but it came to the big fights. And, you know, skipping through divisions without fighting a lot of the guys, everyone wanted to see him fight. Um, and I didn't want to see that. From Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford reminds me similarly to when Floyd was coming up. Because right? I see a lot of similarities, but they're totally different fighters. Floyd was much more fundamentally um, sound and just technically better. Um, you know, I would say pound for pound, Pretty Boy Floyd was a much better fighter than Terrence Crawford. Um, but I think Terrence Crawford has more heart. All right? He got more heart, more aggression. Um, to, to act, I'm not saying like when Floyd fought guys that were completely overmatched, of course he had aggression. That's totally different than fighting someone like this, right? We're going to get to see it. Floyd. This is like Floyd versus Costa Zoo. He didn't do it, right? Floyd versus, you know, Ricky Hatton at 140 when right after Ricky, you know, didn't do it. I, I, whatever. It's, I'm just saying it didn't happen, all right? I don't, I don't care about why, whatever. Um, that's not what this is about. Because you know, okay, he didn't do that one. He could, he could have fought Spatty at thirty five. You know, I mean, he could it, it could have had a ton of fucking fights. He didn't post all. I I always wanted you know a Floyd to fight at thirty five. You know, grab up them titles, unify when everyone wanted to unify. Same at one thirty, and then you know one forty comes around. All all the big fights are there. Just just wait, stay right there at one forty. Keep making your mark. Keep kicking ass. Bam. 
then then go up. Instead, he was hopscotching without taking the, the big ones. And I didn't want Crawford to do that because I'd be very pissed. That's what that's how fucking Mayweather lost me as a fan. You know, once you skip too many fights, it's like, all right, now I'm seeing a pattern, you know. But with Crawford, he comes to 140. At find, we're kind of finding out who's who in the division. Postal establishes himself. And then you got Crawford, you know, one of the best fighters in the world. Postal's the, the guy. And Crawford has to overcome this challenge. And this is a big challenge. You know, this is exactly what... If, if you were boxing fans back then with that one, I know most of you were. This is what you wanted to see from Floyd. Because you know how good he was. You just wanted to see, can he do this? You know, could, would he be able to beat this style or that guy? You know, and that's... This is a this is that fight for for Postal, and it shows the Postal or it shows the I mean for Crawford, and it shows that Crawford isn't a, ain't scared of putting it all on the line. There's no guarantees winning this fight. There's nothing even close to a fucking guarantee that he's winning this fight, but he's taking it. You know, no, he had to first. Of all. I mean, they both had to. Um, how much longer? You know, it, and it's not like they avoided each other or anything, but. How long could this go with these being two in-house fighters and them not fighting each other, right? But they they fought fast, man. Fast. I mean, he just beat Matisse. He just became number one. His very next fight is is Crawford. And Crawford is fighting him in his very next fight. So that shows there wasn't... They went back and forth bickering. And it was basically about money every fucking time. You know, so-and-so, they, they want to fight, but I'm not... I don't feel I'm getting what I deserve. And, you know, but apparently... Everything worked out. And now we got the fight, you know. So, they had to have both made concessions. All right? Neither one was looking for everything, you know. He ain't getting a fucking fight in Omaha, all right, which, you know, Postal clearly stated, I ain't fucking fighting this guy in Omaha. I'll fight him in America, but Omaha? Oh, not only in his country, but his fucking backyard. Are you kidding me? You know, even if I beat him 115, 113, I'm losing 118, 112. You know, that, that's the crowd effect. They will cheer for nothing from Postal and everything from Crawford. And the judges score on that. You all, you you know that if you go to the fights. Um, you'll see it so often. You're just like, what the fuck? They, they literally just scored off who cheered. So if your guy, if you, you, you cheer for your guy, you know, just because you, you're like, hey, the judges are going to score on that. That's why everyone cheers when their guy throws something, you know. Even if he misses, the crowd will go wild because the judges, I don't, I don't know why, but they get influenced by that shit. Um, but this is a great challenge for Crawford. You know, I'm a big Crawford fan, so I love to see him taking a fight like this. And I don't even give like, who cares if he even loses? You know, who cares? That's the thing. He don't have to stay fucking, he don't have to go 29-0. and 0. I want him to. I mean, it'd be great if he did. But me being a fan and wanting him to ain't the reason I'm picking him either. I think he can win this fight. Um, I do. I, I think the, the speed, explosiveness, and possibly power um, might be a bigger factor than the the size, you know, basically ranginess and size, uh, and timing. Uh, I don't think he can get his timing down. He'll be able to get his timing. You know, Post will be able to get Crawford's timing at times. But with the way Crawford fights, he ain't going to be able to keep it. You know, if Crawford, like Postal, Crawford will be able to get his timing if, if he can and get it, and he'll be able to keep it because Postal fights one way. One way. You know, he has the classical style. That's his style. That's it. You know, and just Crawford has more tools in the bag. He has more just things he can do. Um, and I'm not talking about just southpaw or, you know, orthodox. I mean, he'll take chances. You know, he's just faster on his feet. He can get to certain angles. Um, I think he should be able to be a quicker counter puncher. Like, <clears throat> he swings that jab out and boom, a big, fast fucking right hand uh, comes flying over the top of it. Whack! Don't knock him out necessarily or nothing like that, but it looks good, gets, gets scores a point, right? Um, and then he jumps over and opens up on him. Maybe nothing lands, but hey, he at least landed a one to nothing. Uh, I, that jab, the one-two, is going to be hard to get through. 
And that's, I think Postal should be able to get the early rounds for that reason. He'll be sharp on his feet, sharp with his hands. His defense will be there. Postal will be explosive, will be ready. And, I, you know, I think Postal should get the, the early chunk. Two, two, three rounds. I don't know what it'll take Crawford to really get into, you know, his rhythm and find uh, Postal's rhythm and timing and get on time. And then he should be able to start opening up. Um, worst case scenario, he goes to defense and makes Postal come to him, plays counter uh, He go in that way, too. Um uh, it's it's going to be interesting, man. It, it really is. You don't know how either guy's chin is going to handle the other guy's shot. Um, you don't know if the size and timing can overcome, you know, the speed and explosiveness uh, and, you know, unorthodox techniques and angles. And I don't think it can. Uh, I mean, I, it will at times, but I don't think it can throughout the whole fight. Uh... I just think Crawford has too much to offer, too many ways to win. If, it's a tough fight. It's a tough fight for, for, for Crawford, though. That's what I like. It's a tough fight for Postal, too. I mean, that's what I love about it. The guy's taking on, you know, the guy uh, every, everyone feels is the best. You know, people think he's probably pound for pound the best from, I don't know. Right around his divisions. Actually, there's so many guys. I mean, you got Lomachenko, and you know, you got Valdez down there. Jeez, I mean, you got a lot of good pound for pound fighters. But you know, this is a good one, man. Uh, look and think of this, right? We got Verdejo, okay, with Aram, and you know damn well we're gonna say we're gonna see Verdejo and uh, Crawford eventually, right? And Verdejo is a big fucking dude, right? So if Crawford can deal with Postal. And his size, that'll be very interesting. To, you know, that'll give us a, a, a read on maybe, you know, down the road we'd be able to look back at this postal fight and see how he handled, you know, a, a bigger guy, um, someone with the, the reach and you know height. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I I don't I think postal might be bigger than Verdejo though. I don't know Verdejo's size. I should actually check it right now. I don't, I don't know Verdejo's size, but I don't know, man. This is a challenge that you see the great fighters take on. It is. You know, it's like Pacquiao and Barrera. You know what I mean? Uh, prime for prime, just, just knuckling up. Pacquiao going up a division. And, you know, Crawford is coming up. He's the smaller guy. Uh, nothing like Pacquiao, but, you know, they're different styles. Uh, but it's still the same thing, right? You got the guy going up, taking the big fights. Great fight. Hopefully it turns out to be a great fight, a memorable fight um, for both of them. You know, that'd be tremendous. Will it? I don't know. It could be ugly. It could be fantastic. Um, a lot of question marks. A lot of question marks. That's why I love it. That's why the fight's so great. You know, I did... I like it even though I know it might be a boring, it might turn out to be a boring, boring fight, honestly. Um, where, you know, both guys, they're p both playing it so safe. And I hope that don't happen uh, for both of them. I hope Postal takes fucking risks. I hope Crawford takes risks. Because if they have this big fight with them, the, the spotlight on them, the moments all on them, and they both stink to join out, like, you know, that'll really uh, hurt them both in terms of even the winner, you're like shooting the superstar. If Crawford comes through and just fucks him, fucks his dude up, knocks him the fuck out four or five rounds or something while attacking, lighting his ass up, boom, you know, that could shoot him right to where he wants to be. Um, if it goes in there and he's just, you know, real hesitant and I don't know, but, you know, uh, that could set him back. Career-wise, right? But this is a tough challenge. It's, I, I just, I, I love Crawford. And I love his style. I love, you know, just his, his, his ferocity. He'll be real ferocious at times and go for it. Putting himself in the line of fire, which is exciting, right? Even remember Jeff Lacey, right? What was the best thing about Jeff Lacey? He could get knocked the fuck out at any moment, but you know he's going for it, you know? 
You knew he was going for it, but he might get knocked out at any moment. Um, you know, that's one, you know, it's it's a great thing. Crawford has that, but he's much more talented than Jeff Lacey. Um, this, I mean, is the biggest test of either of their careers by far, by fucking far. You know, the biggest tests for Postal's career, what, uh, Selkick ID, um, what's he say? Um, and then you got, uh, biggest test for Crawford's career. You know, I don't know. Gamboa, I guess. Uh, Gamboa, Beltron, Delorme. Um, eh, this is the, the main fight, man. You know, everything that everyone thought and thinks of Crawford, the people who support Crawford and think he he is one of those next-level fighters, I mean, this is the fight he proves it in. You know, it's either he's not or he is. And this is that fight, and he took it with instantly, you know, he took it, bam. So it's not like we had to go through six months of them bickering, 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 bickering. I mean, we did go through a little bit of bickering, but nothing like you know other fighters, where they're just bickering constantly, and then they fight someone else, and they're still bickering. No, I mean, you know, Postal's next fight after winning that title is Crawford. I mean, how much faster can you get? You know. So that is that is what it is. It's a great sign. You know, Crawford is clearly jumping at it. Um, Aram can't force him to take the fight. He can push him hard, but he can't, can't force him. Um, I, I think Crawford is happy that he, I mean, he is happy that he got the fight. I think they both are. I think they're both satisfied. They both like the challenge. Neither guy is you know, afraid of a challenge, which is also great, which is why I think it should be on, you know, it should be more on the exciting side than the boring side, even though I think there there will be some boring moments. Um, but that's also, I think that'll be because of that both guys trying to adapt and figure each other out and figure out a, a way to win, you know. <clears throat> they post all make it boring in the middle, um, or I mean at the beginning, and Crawford might make it boring, you know, uh, right after that or later on, like later late rounds, mid-round, late rounds. Um, but in between there should be pretty explosive. Uh, you know, once I get a better read on the fighters and see them, you know, training, hitting them, it's hitting the bag, seeing how sharp and fast their punches are coming out, that'll give us a much better read. Um, but just judging from past, just judging from their, you know, basically their portfolios that we have of them, you know, I just... Same with any other pick, man. I just think Crawford uh, has more ways to win. He's faster. Like, a lot faster. It, it's If they were the same size, you know, frame-wise, like if, if Postal didn't have that reach, um, didn't have that height advantage, I th to me it would be a no-brainer. You know, I'd be like Crawford all day. If they were like the same size, exact same height and reach, it's Crawford all day. Um, that height and reach... That's the, the the kicker, you know. That's the kicker, and that's what's great about it, though. That's uh, the challenge that you know. And this is a a very sound fighter. It's a damn good fighter with one of the greatest coaches in his corner, trying to have him beat Crawford. And we're going to see if Crawford can overcome that. And if he does, that solidifies him as what people expect think of him, you know, because people have him on like pretty high on the pound for pound list. With not doing much, uh, I agree he should be on the pound for pound list. But this will, there's no arguing after that. You know, taking on a challenge, I guess, and then overcoming it, and depending on how he does it, too. Um, if he does it impressively, whew, you know, shit. Then it's a broner. You gotta get broner in that ring after that, man. I want to see that fucking fight. Or like a Provodnikov, man. Get Provodnikov in that ring. I would love to see that fucking fight. Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a tough one to pick. Um, I, I just think the, the speed, how Crawford's going to be breaking his rhythm up and his timing up is going to lead him to victory because Postal's going to need to get that timing, and he's not fast enough to get it. 
If he was the fast one, I, I would have him winning all day. You know, if he had that speed that Crawford had, I would have him winning all day. But he don't. Uh, he just don't, you know. Anyway, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to talk a bit about it. Um, obviously, I'll be following the hell out of this fight and get more into it down the road. But let me know what you guys think, man. You think uh, Postal can... can, can Pull it off. Uh, keep him at the end. You know, rough him up on the inside. Uh, do you think Crawford has the ability to uh, hit them angles? Uses agility to to hit those angles and speed um, to kind of you know sharp counter punches uh, leads that Crawford just ain't or Postal just ain't ready for um, in the exchanges, getting the better of it. Uh you know, and then playing defense. I mean, I don't know. What do you? How do you guys see this fight? And do you? Don't you love how both of these guys are accepting the challenges that we see the great fighters take? Like, if Crawford's gonna be great, this is a tightest is of the fight he needs. Like, there's other fights he could have had that could have done you know similar things, but taking on a fighter who is the considered the best at this division, who is People say you're fighting smaller men. This guy is clearly fucking bigger. Um, you know, much bigger. And he uses it well. He uses his size to win. You know, bang, one, two, keeping you at the end of that jab. Can, if Crawford overcomes that, it's a huge challenge. A lot of fighters can't deal with guys who, you know, have the height and reach advantage and know how to use it. So that's going to be very tough. Can you do it? I, I don't know. I'm, I think he can. I really do think he can. I'm not just hoping. I actually, I really think he can. The speed difference is pr pretty big. I mean, it's not like huge, but it's pretty big. That's what why I think he can. Um, but you know, man, you know, this is the type of challenge you want to see fighters take. You know, I'm glad they both agreed to it. Uh, but let me know who you. Favor at this moment. I know you probably can't make your pick right now, whatever, but just who you're favoring right now and, you know, what you're seeing with this matchup, what you like about it, and who you think will win or why if you can type that much, because I know this is a very complicated fight. Um, yeah, give me your thoughts, man. I'd love to hear them. Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Peace.